My name is Scott Tello. I'm currently a Naval Special Warfare Instructor training partner nations in the Riverine Small Boat Maritime Operations. This is going to be my sixth time competing at the highest level of the sport of CrossFit. And in 2020, I qualified for the first time to actually compete at the CrossFit Games. Ever since then, I've kind of come up short a little bit on semifinals, so this is the hurdle to get over. It's something to keep working towards, never stop, never stop training, never stop trying to reach your goal. And I'm not going to until I get it, and I know I can. Or I want to prove to myself that I can do it, and also want to prove to others, as in my sons, that with hard work and dedication, the proper mindset and drive, that anything is achievable. 2016, I went on a deployment, and uh, you know, there's some downtime, so I set myself a goal to kind of keep myself motivated throughout the six to eight months that I was there, and I wanted to really get in really good shape, and so I started following uh, some high intensity fitness regimens, and I found that competitive drive, which was just another way to keep growing. You know, to be to be a SWIC, you don't have to train to be uh, an elite uh, CrossFit athlete. My impressions at when I first came to uh, SWIC training, I was like, what did I get myself into? And then as the days continued on, I fell into a routine, uh, started making teammates and working together, and that definitely helped allow myself to push through all the challenging aspects of SWIC school and ultimately graduate and completing the goal. Once I got to the teams, I felt like the training was very necessary. The amount of weight that we're having to throw around and handle with all the heavy weapons and the ammunition and the high-paced operations that we trained to, and it definitely allowed my body to keep up with the sustainability of training and operations on the water. If you're in the CrossFit community and you're interested in thinking about joining uh, Naval Special Warfare, I would definitely focus on running and swimming and then getting well at moving your body weight, doing pull-ups, push-ups, holding loads about anywhere between 75% of your body weight to 1.5 times your body weight and being able to just move with some time under tension for an extended period of time. And then swimming, uh, definitely focus on swimming with fins and without fins and practicing that combat side stroke technique. My, my SWIC communities, they're like family to me, so uh, they support me in everything and they've definitely helped me get to this level because they really want to see me excel and, and succeed at this.